feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hello everyone and welcome back to the post show video wrap up of the Shrimp Tank. My name is Lee Heisman. Today with my co-host again two weeks in a row, Stone Stafford. Thank Stone, you. thank you for Thanks joining for us. Me, man. Well, you were my superstar last week. This week, this is our superstar, Dr. Lakeisha Hallman, founder of pretty much everything, the Village Market, which I want you to talk about. Guys, listen. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, hit the notification button so that you can get notifications when superstars like Dr. Key here comes onto the show. So. Dr. Key, tell us a little bit about, I mean, what you've done with the Village Market. Thank you so much for having me again. Um, I am the founder and CEO of the Village Market. We do campaigns. We have marketplaces, brick and mortar location at Punt City Market, all for black entrepreneurs. And beyond making sure that we have physical space for black entrepreneurs, we make sure that entrepreneurs have the access, resources they, they need in order to scale and scale sustainably. Uh, that is awesome. You're doing great work over there as well. Uh, but why, I want to know what's next. I mean, you have the Village Market, you have Elevate, right? You have your nonprofit. I mean, it seems like you're nonstop. What's next for you? What's next? We've partnered, it sounds like more work again. We've <laughs> partnered with the Atlanta Beltline to create the Beltline Marketplace. So next month in July, we will have six more black businesses that you can shop from on the East and West Side Trail. So I'm extremely excited about that. And we also are expanding to the great state of, great state of Mississippi, where I'm from, um, to launch our Elevate Missi Mississippi program. And we will, in the next two years, work with 100 entrepreneurs in Mississippi to help them scale their businesses. That's awesome. Well, I will tell you this. Go back and listen to the episode in its entirety. And there's a reason. Because we teased in the episode what I'm going to ask you now this, I would say young lady, much younger than me, of course, but Dr. Key, again, I was blown away during the entire show how on top of her game is. This woman is very thoughtful, very strategic. But I said, hey, when did you run into an obstacle where you didn't see it coming? And you kind of, we teased it out to this part of the show. Of course, they would ask me hard questions. Um, that's the purpose. But, you know, one of the experiences that I had that I don't think I was prepared for, this was in 2017. I met this, inc I, at that time, who I thought was an incredible person who would help me build the financial infrastructure of my company. And before this moment, I, and I still do have my rose colored glasses on, and there's deep belief in people, but I naively trusted this person without doing a proper vetting. And so this person um, came on, and I thought as a mentor, as a financial advisor for my company, really led me down a path of a lot of dishonesty. And a year and a half of working together, I, was, I looked at my books, got outside auditing, and I saw that so many things that they did with the village market, so many things that they told me they were doing with the village market, they simply didn't do. And what I did was put my trust in the wrong person. And I think naively because that person looked and sound just like I did. And so I, that was one of the most heartbreaking experiences but I learned so much from it to make sure that I do the proper vetting, that I don't let my guards down naively. I still have grace. Uh, I still believe in people. However, the proper vetting, vetting especially with CF, uh, uh, CFOs, anyone that's going to come in and help you with the back office of your company, make sure that you have those reference points and you call every single person. Well, I, I have to say whether it's success or opportunities to learn and become wiser, you've experienced a lot. So I, for one, am going to follow you because I friend up. <laughs> so <laughs> how can other people follow you? Uh, you can follow The Village Market, thevillagemarket.com, and on social platforms, The Village Market ATL, the nonprofit Our Village United, and my beautiful retail store, The Village Market Retail. And if you want to hang out with me every now and then, it's Dr. Key. Absolutely. I, I First off, I'm hanging out with you, Dr. Key. So you got me stuck around you, no question about it. Also, listen to what she said. The bumps and bruises. As successful as Dr. Key is, you still as an entrepreneur have to get those bumps and bruises and learn from that. And you didn't just fall down and roll away. You picked yourself up and you learned from that experience. Guys, Stone, thank you so much for being a co-host. Dr. Awesome. Key, thank you so much for coming. This is a new friendship I'm looking forward to. And as you said, friend up all friend the time. Up. No question. Guys, go back and listen to episodes. Last week, Liddell Hill, my personal friend, I want to say right, microbiology health specialist. He's done a lot for me. I go back, I'd go back and watch his show, guys. Health and wellness is something that you have to take care of. So you take care of yourself. You take care of everyone else around you in the community. And that is your post-show video wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.